This is the Shorts HD show that reports on the most interesting and exciting news stories from around the world of film. From the latest movie news, previews, and interviews, to the most obscure and absorbing events that the industry has to offer. Shorts and features, Hollywood and indie, no matter where in the world it's happening, we'll be there. And bringing it to you, right here on Shorts HD. This is Short Notice. Hi, I'm Tony Denman and welcome along to Short Notice, the show that reports on all the movie industry has to offer from around the globe. This time around, we're bringing you a special episode devoted to the vibrant, colorful, and always unpredictable Guanajuato International Film Festival in Mexico. Take a look at what's coming up. You better pack a spare pair of undies for this one as we head down for a nighttime screening of horror films in Guanajuato's spooky cemetery. We keep the pulses racing as we join up with the student teams taking part in the 48-hour university rally. Eight colleges from Mexico compete in a filmmaking challenge where they have just two days to shoot, edit, and deliver a short movie. There's a heck of a lot to pack into the show and we don't have much time, so let's get started. First up, let's introduce you to and show you around the amazing Guanajuato International Film Festival. The Guanajuato Film Festival 2011, 21 venues, 10 days, conferences, workshops, films, parties, concerts, Theater, dinner, theater, movies, 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 movies. It's nonstop. I love the film festival because it really opens your eyes to um, all these types of films there are in the world. Because really, if you're just at home or somewhere else, you would never have the opportunity to see these movies. I think it's one of the, be uh, the best film festivals in all of the whole world. The festival takes on the personality of each city. San Miguel is a beautiful historic city. It's an art colony. It's historically important for the art community internationally. And so it has a wider audience. It, they're all ages. They come from all over the world. It's a more boutique-y San Miguel's. And then we moved to Guanajuato and it's a university town and then we've got theaters coming out of every corner of the city. and. We have thousands and thousands of young people come from all over the country, 30 countries, to attend the event and it's high energy and it's marathon activities. Runs like wildfire. So that was a bit of insight into this unique festival and the awesome cities that host it. Right, to our next story now in a fright night screening on another level. I mean, as if it wasn't scary enough watching horror films in the comfort and safety of your own living room, the festival at Guanajuato has taken it one step further. Take a look at this. Hmm. But tonight we are here in Panteón de Guanajuato, in the graveyard, where we are having films horror films in the middle of the night. The atmosphere is very important. We got, can take the people just in the main door and sit there already. But we take them in this long path so they can feel all the atmosphere, the morbid situation, this feeling of, oh, I'm in a grave or in the middle of the night. A ghost will appear and suddenly you get this film where the ghost in fact appear. So the movie is like an extension with the graveyard. In this world behind me there are the thumbs. Many people, instead of putting the people in uh, holes in the earth, in this part they put it in holes in walls and they are very tall in fact. I think in Mexico, we're not afraid of that. We are more like, we know that it's a part of life and we laugh at it. And that's why we can't put movies, horror movies here in this 
beautiful graveyards. Movies with mommy there, or as I like to call it, my worst nightmare. Are you kidding me? Watching Korean horror films surrounded by dead people? <laughs> I think I'll curl up on the couch with a cup of hot chocolate in my Gossip Girl Season 3 box set any day. Okay, now it's time to take a look at another one of the must-see events of the Guanajuato International Film Festival, the Supercharged Student Filmmaking Contest, the 48-hour University Rally. In just its third year, the 48-hour University Rally has already become one of the main highlights of the Guanajuato International Film Festival. Eight colleges from Mexico compete in a filmmaking challenge where they have just two days to shoot, edit, and deliver a short movie. My name is Ulises Castillo and I'm the producer of the short film of The Eternal Sapphire. And this is my team. And we're competing for the short film by, uh, by the same name. We joined up with the crew of El Zafiro Eterno as they embarked on their 48-hour filmmaking mission. We're behind time. We have to go take this guy to his house and, and then take the guitar and the go to the hotel. And then we go for an actress to a hotel and we have to do all this in 20 minutes. Each team has up to five months in pre-production and preparation for the two-day rally. The lucky students are even given famous Mexican soap stars to act in their movies. She's our, our actress, our main character. She's done lots of movies, lots of soap operas. She's done like 30 or 40 movies with Mario Almada. Action! ¿Qué más puedes hacer para sorprenderme, Miguel? Four o'clock in the morning, and we're, we're finished for, for the day. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get one hour sleep because we first have to go do some editing. The first day may have run smoothly enough for the crew of El Safiro. A few misplaced props and wrong turns in the van may have cost them a few minutes. But the second day of shooting brought with it problems that no one could control. Today has been very difficult because of the rain. We were shooting, we can't have the actors on the tower because the rain was so strong. In the meantime, we, we, we started with another sequence, which is the, the last one. A tough break for our team with the rain affecting their shoot. But with time running out, they have no choice but to push on with their edit and hope to rescue their film. Well, I have been editing all the time, and well, I'm really happy. I hope that the result will be the best. <laughs> yeah, it was really tough to make it because we had some problem with the rain, so we have to shoot to move the shooting and to the next day. But it's really um, rewarding. So exactly 48 hours after the competition began, each of the eight teams handed over those precious Blu-ray discs to the judges. This is the final disc of our short film. <laughs> Finally! This is the Eternal Sapphire. So, a chance to rest, relax, and quietly watch their short movies, right? Wrong! <laughs> Thousands packed the Auditorio del Estado to cheer on their teams and show their appreciation for the films. After some great reaction to the other shorts, it was finally the turn of our team, El Zafiro Eternal. Miguel, ¿qué más puedes hacer para sorprenderme? Ganado su corazón. Digo, siendo usted una mujer tan, tan simpática. The teams anxiously await the announcement of the winner. Sadly for our team, it seems, 
all is lost as the jury prize is awarded to the film Padre Nuestro. However, the judges remain on the stage and it soon becomes apparent that there is another award to give, the public prize. And our team does it. El Zafiro take the public vote prize. I was crying like a baby, literally. I was really, really happy. I, I don't know how to describe this, this feeling. The moment they said El Zafiro Eterno, we, ah! Oh. I think this is just as good as the main prize because we were not selected by three people, but we were selected by hundreds. It would have been a blockbuster if it, was a, if it would have been a production competition. It would have been a blockbuster. So, after a grueling 48-hour movie-making mission, the student team of El Zafiro Eterno win the award and thousands of dollars worth of production equipment for their university. And we here at short notice get a happy ending. And that's how we like it. Well, there you have it. The 48-hour university rally in all its glory. And what a great result for our team. Yes, I love winning. So, that's all I'm afraid, folks. We really hope you've enjoyed this special episode devoted to the incredible Guanajuato International Film Festival. If you want more information on the festival or any of the stories covered in the show, then visit the short notice page on our website at www.shorts.tv. Well, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>